gym class is you need a tennis ball and a wall. Any wall that you can throw the ball against. You don't need to throw it too hard, so it's okay if it's drywall inside your house. We'll start with a warm up. Accumulate at your own pace 20 arm swinging sumo squats. Keep your legs relatively close. Don't put them too wide apart. As you bend at the waist, you're gonna swing your arms through your legs. And then as you squat down into the sumo squat, you're gonna swing your arms overhead, okay? And then when you reverse it, you swing your arms back through your legs as you shoot your hips back and extend your knees, and then extend your hips and throw your arms overhead. Okay, so it's like you're going to throw something through your legs, throw something overhead, through your legs, overhead. So it's one, two, three, four. Great. And we'll do 20. You can either follow along with us or you can do them at your own pace. skill development, you're going to do a slow motion throw. You'll do three each side and you want to go as slow as possible and still try to control it. So stay balanced and this will help you refine your throwing pattern. So you're going to kind of mimic a baseball throw for this one. So you're going to hold the tennis ball. I'm going to be as precise as possible and pretend I'm going in slow motion. So I do the wind up. follow right through. Other side. And you'll do three each side. Go even slower than that if you can. And just try to refine the pattern. So at no point in the movement should you feel off balance or straining. Like if I talk through this, you always want to be in a geometrically precise position. So as I open up, I can still pause at any point during the movement because I'm balanced all the time. Okay? So if you're not balanced, pause along the movement and see why not. And reorganize your body weight centers over your foot so that you maintain balance. As you come here, you shouldn't fall onto this foot. You're coming through, you're maintaining balance. You readjust your body so you can gently shift from one support to the next and follow through with the throw. Okay, here are the challenges. I think there's six of them. First one, you're gonna stand close to the wall, facing it, put the ball on the wall right in front of you, somewhere around chest level, chest or chin level. You have to keep the ball in contact with the wall and use your finger to roll it out, keeping it in contact with the wall the whole time. Once you get as stretched out as you can, you shift your weight onto the near side leg and you can lift the far leg so that you can stretch even further. And you want to stretch as far as you possibly can without losing your balance. And then bring it back in. Try to move the ball as swiftly as you can without letting it come off the wall. So use your 
Finger dexterity, roll it out. Don't pick it up and move it. Make sure you're rolling it along with your fingers. Once you get to your furthest stretch, you lift the leg and you reach as far as you can. Try to challenge yourself to almost lose your balance, but not lose your balance. And roll it back in. And you repeat three times per side. The next challenge is twisting with the ball glued to the wall. So you want to, wherever you put the ball, you want to imagine that it's crazy glued there. It can't move up, down, left, right, anywhere. You keep it in position and you're gonna twist in each direction. Keeping the ball right where it is. The other side. So your fingers have to stay in contact with the ball the whole time and the ball can't move. You do three times per side. On each side you go each way as well. For this next challenge you're going to stand as far from the wall as you can throw it and catch it while standing on one leg. So just do a few. See where you can throw it on one leg and catch it. And then the challenge is to stay at that distance as far as you can, able to do that consistently. You're going to stand on one leg, keep that foot glued to the ground. Don't let it move so you can't jump around on it. And you're gonna do three underhand throws, and after every throw, touch the ground with the ball. And three overhand throws, and after every throw, touch the ground with the ball. Okay? So I'll just do two on each side just to show you what it looks like. So underhand, and touch. And you're gonna go overhand, and also try to catch it overhand on the overhand throws. So with the underhand throws, you try to catch it underhand. And the overhand throws, you catch it overhand. Even if it's a low catch, you still catch it overhand. Three times per side. Next challenge, you're gonna stay in the same distance from the wall as you were for the previous one. Or if necessary, move it in a bit. This one you're going to glue both feet to the ground, glue your hand to the opposite shoulder, you're going to throw it around your back and catch it. The hand can't come off the shoulder and the feet can't move, neither foot can move from the ground. Okay? So, glue to the ground. And the ball cannot bounce. three times per side. This next simple drill will challenge your orientation in space. You're gonna walk, stand just a comfortable distance from the wall. You're gonna walk in a circle. Continue walking in a circle as you throw the ball, toss the ball off the wall. As you toss it and after you toss it, keep walking in the circle, turn around and catch the ball facing the wall, okay? So circle, toss, keep turning, and catch it, okay? Circle, toss, and catch it. Three times per side. The bonus challenge is, this is the 26th class, I think. So you stand 26 of your feet from the wall. That's the distance you have to stand, 26 of your feet from the wall, and you have to get three consecutive throws off the wall, and the ball returns to your hands with no bounce. 
and you catch it. And the left is gonna be a lot harder if you're right-handed or vice versa if you're left-handed. Three times per side. It's a bonus challenge. <laughs>